Can you imagine what would have happened to MLP if Lauren Faust decided not to take part in this current generation? I'm sure that Hasbro would have attempted to revitalize their long hibernating MLP brand even without Lauren, but I have my doubts as to whether a lot of us would have even given the show a chance were it not for Lauren's vision of what MLP should be. She came up with the initial ideas on the characters, the kind of atmosphere the show should convey, and even helping with bringing on a lot of other talent that made the show into what it is today. Indeed, Lauren Faust was crucial in getting the show started on the right foot. It is unfortunate that she felt that she could no longer take part in the show. She was there all throughout Season 1, and became a consultant on Season 2. But she had nothing to do with Season 3 or Equestria Girls, and now we are going into Season 4 without her input as well. Still, I have to wonder, just what kind of show would MLP be nowadays if Lauren Faust was still the driving force behind it? What kind of stories would the main six be taking part in? Would the show be any more or less successful than it already is now? I'm sure that many of us have thought about these questions at some point, wondering how different things could be. Well, there are a few things I know of that Lauren wanted for MLP. For example, she actually wanted more adventure episodes for the main six. While not going so far as to make every story into an adventure, we would have probably seen more episodes like Dragonshy and less episodes like Look Before You Sleep. Personally, I have enjoyed many of the slice-of-life stories that MLP has produced thus far, and I know that a lot of other fans sometimes actually prefer the slice-of-life style over the adventure stories. I'm honestly not sure whether it would have been a better choice to put in more adventure episodes. I really do enjoy watching the exploits of Daring Do and the enjoyable adventures she goes on. But at the same time, I really would have missed stories like Green Isn't Your Color or Sister Hooves Social if the writers had decided not to put as much focus on the slice of lifestyle. I think the most touching moments of the series are found in those kind of stories. And I think there are times where we also get to see more depth to the characters in the slice of life stories, as opposed to the adventure episodes. And while adventure stories can often lend themselves to great character arcs, there is something else that I think we need to consider here. One of the biggest draws of MLP is the fact that we can put these characters into a lot of different situations because the show is so open-ended. If the writers were clarifying a lot more of the minute details about these characters and focusing on exactly what they should and should not be, we wouldn't have a lot of the great fan fictions and animations that the fans have created. We can take the main six in a lot of different directions because they are not so completely defined. If we were to see how each of these characters would triumph in an epic adventure story, we might have less to work with on coming up with stories of our own. But then again, such a story would give us even more to appreciate about the characters that they are, so there really are possibilities either way. Not too long ago, there was an interview with Craig McCracken that was uploaded to Equestria Daily. Now, Craig is Lauren's husband, so he would have a deeper understanding about why Lauren left the show over most anyone else. I would like to read to you a couple of his responses. It was not an easy decision, and she's not happy about it. I know that there were things that she wanted to do with the series that she just wasn't able to do. It's difficult trying to make a show like that for a toy company. She had big ideas, and I don't know she was able to get them on screen, and there's still some frustration with that. I'm sure that many of us have already heard about Hasbro's interference with Lauren's work, so that may not come as a surprise to most of us. However, this next part was something that I hadn't heard before, Lauren's impression on Equestria Girls. I don't think Lauren's the biggest fan of that. That's one of those things that would have made her leave anyway. If they had told her you have to turn them into human beings now and they have to go to high school, she would have said, no, that's exactly what I didn't want to do with this show. Lauren's priority was telling stories, and Hasbro's priority was selling toys. It's a different way of approaching the work, and it was difficult for her to bridge that gap. I think a lot of us would have guessed that Lauren would not have wanted to have anything to do with Equestria Girls, but actually reading this response is rather intriguing. I mean, I have to wonder just what kind of movie we could have ended up with if Lauren really was still the driving force behind MLP. I've actually heard a few people say that instead of Equestria Girls, perhaps we should have had a full-length movie of Magical Mystery Cure, and I could see some possibilities with that. 
But I suppose we should also consider the fact that Lauren Faust had stated long ago that she wanted Celestia and Luna to be the only two alicorns in the show. So that makes me curious about what would have happened to Twilight Sparkle's story arc. I actually like the idea that she has been elevated to a higher plane of existence, and that we will get to see her accomplishing even greater feats in the future. Or at least so I would hope. I've not seen what Season 4 will bring us just yet, but I still have to wonder about what would have changed about Twilight's story arc if Lauren had not intended for her to become an alicorn. Would anything about Twilight really have changed for better or worse? I like thinking about the possibilities of what might have been better if Lauren had stayed on with the show and was allowed to take it in the direction she wanted. But I also have to question about whether we might have ended up losing anything that actually turned out pretty good even without her guiding hand. Regardless of how much influence she has left on the show even today, we should still be grateful that she managed to give us as much as she did. But now I'd like to hear from each of you. What do you think would be different about the show we have today if Lauren was still the driving force behind it? If we weren't given a movie like Equestria Girls, just what sort of story would have been put in its place? Do you think there might be some good episodes that may never have come to light if the show's focus was put more towards adventure stories and less on the slice of lifestyle? I would like to hear your thoughts about the effects that Lauren Faust has left on the show and the Brony fandom, and here's to hoping that we can still help to drive the show in a good direction even without its creator. I am Dr. Wolf, and I look forward to hearing from you.